Hello students, in this lesson, let us study about the track construction. We will see what exactly is track construction and what are the different steps involved in the track construction. And in detail, we will study about the steps involved in track construction. <music> So to get started with the art of constructing a new railway track is nothing but your track construction, right? Art of constructing new railway track, okay? So as we know, the railway track involves all these components, rails, sleepers, track ballast, sub ballast, sub grade and along with this fastener fixtures etc will also be used but these are the main components of a track right so your track construction is basically divided or done in three stages the first stage is the preparation of your sub grade or you can call it as formation Okay, so this will involve many works like your site clearance. So first we have to clear the site on which your track is being constructed. Then we have to do the earthwork, excavation or cutting or whatever is required that we have to do. And then once the earthwork is done, we have to do the consolidation before even constructing the track. So this is the first step. The second step is your plate laying. So this plate laying is done for the laying of a new railway track, right? And the third one is the ballasting. So this ballasting the track is done for laying of ballast on the track. Okay, so these are the major three stages of construction of a new railway track. So as I earlier mentioned, the preparation of a subgrade can be divided into in broad if you want to do the division so the first one is your site clearance and grubbing second one is the earthwork preparation third one is the compaction and consolidation and the fourth one is the checking of the subgrade right so what exactly is the preparation of subgrade this is nothing but the art of providing a finished and compacted surface of earthwork according to the desired gradient so whatever gradient we have fixed to the railway track that we have to provide and a proper alignment as designed So this is called as the preparation of the sub grade. So this is the first step in the construction of any new railway track after setting out its alignment on the ground. So the sub grade may be provided on an embankment in a cutting or in an existing ground level depending upon the topography of the area where the final formation level are indicated in the longitudinal section of the proposed track so these are the four stages in case of your preparation of subgrade so let us see in each case what exactly are we doing so in first we do the site clearing and grubbing now this is nothing but the operations are performed in advance of the earthwork operation so before the earthwork operations we have to perform this according to the required specification so name itself is indicating that we have to clear all the site that is we have to remove all the vegetations such as your trees stumps shrubs rubbish or whatever is there on the site that we have to remove in a right way and uh, such other areas are specified on the drawings or by the engineer in charge whoever is there as an in charge so on what all area he suggests we have to remove all these 
things okay then we have to do the grubbing the, this grubbing operation is nothing but the removal of your stumps and roots of tree suppose there are any big big trees so uh, under the ground what will happen there will be roots which will have gone un into the ground right so that has to be removed and disposed that process is called as your grubbing okay so removal and disposal of stumps and roots of trees so at least for a depth of 0.5 meter below the final subgrade level we have to do okay and once it is done we have to make sure that it, that places of grubbing are properly compacted or else settlement uh, chances will occur okay so this is the first step in the preparation of subgrade moving on to the second one is the earthwork so after the site clearance and grubbing is done earthwork is done for preparing the subgrade for the proposed railway track so in all types of area track construction involves some amount of earthwork right if it is an open region a major portion of the track length is constructed in the embankment due to drainage consideration right so if it is a straight line like this we have to go for an embankment okay embankment is the portion above the ground so that we provide proper drainage normally the height of the embankment should be at least 60 centimeter above the maximum flood level in that particular area right this is in case of your open region suppose you are going for a rolling terrain rolling terrain is what the terrain which has lot of ups and downs that type of terrain is called as rolling terrain okay so here the embankments and cuttings are to be frequently provided so in few places we have to provide embankment and in few places we have to provide cuttings so what we can do in this is wherever cutting is happening the material from the cutting can be bought and put onto the place where embankments are going to be done normally we have to make sure that wherever embankments are coming we have to keep a ratio of 1.5 is to 1 to 1.23 is to 1 depending upon this much of side slope side slope we have to give so that proper drainage will happen in case of your embankments so what procedure we follow we will first make the profile of the embankment then we will strip and store the topsoil then we construct the embankment then we will go for earthwork in final preparation okay so similarly if you are going for earthwork in cutting so this is in embankment these are the details in embankment if you are going for the cutting then we have to loosen and remove the earth including rock from its original position and transport it and dump it somewhere else or wherever excavation has to be happened normally the side slopes for your cutting will be in the or should be provided in the range of 2 is to 1 okay and the steps which we follow in case of your cutting cutting will look like this are first we have to set it out then stripping and storing topsoil should be done then ex excavation should be done once the excavation is done we can either put it in the embankment region or if it is more for us we can just dispose it wherever required right the next step in preparation of subgrade is your compaction or consolidation so what we do here is in compaction or consolidation we basically increase increase the density and stability of your subgrade without this process we cannot proceed further because if we proceed without doing compaction or consolidation once the uh, new railway track is laid and the train start moving on to them the settlement will happen right so we have to make sure we do the compaction and consolidation okay for better results what we have to do is 
we have to do the compaction or consolidation layer by layer okay so if we do it layer by layer then maximum consolidation and maximum compaction will happen and whenever we are doing compaction or consolidation we have to make sure that our soil has the optimum moisture content so that we can obtain maximum dry density so normally this compaction is done by the roller or rolling like big big bulldozers will be there no like them okay or we can do it by ramming or we can do the vibration or by just watering we can do the compaction so compactions can be achieved by all these things next is the consolidation so all these details will remain same for consolidation but again consolidation can be done by many ways but the usual way of doing the consolidation is we will try to do some addition of admixtures into the soil which we are using okay like your morum deposited rock or, or any other suitable we can use then water pounding or jetting is done and finally the earth will be compacted okay the next one is you have to check the subgrade so after preparing the subgrade it is checked for its trueness surface level of the subgrade along the track alignment can be checked by a leveling instrument so we have to basically check it before going on to the next major step so normally the formation level should not differ from levels given on the drawing so on original and as well on the drawing the level should not differ more than 25 mm if it is more than 25 mm difference we have to make sure that we correct it okay uh, if it is in case of your transverse profile the maximum allowed is 15 mm so this is all about the first step that is the preparation of your sub grade moving on to the plate laying what is plate laying the operation of laying out and connecting up the rails and sleepers on the prepared sub grade to form a new railway track is nothing but your plate laying okay so art or operation of laying out and connecting up the rails and sleepers on the prepared subgrade to form a new railway track is known as your plate laying so at the time of laying a new track ballast is not placed in the beginning okay to prevent its shrinking in the formation first we have to lay the sleepers directly on the formation and after 2 to 3 monsoon when it becomes completely consolidated the track is lifted and ballast is placed on the formation and packing around the sleepers will be done okay so thus placing of ballast on the formation is not included in your plate laying we have to make sure that after the sleepers are laid we have to allow two to three monsoons to happen and then after the two to three monsoons the consolidation will happen only then we can do the ballasting right so that there are many methods for doing the plate laying okay first method is the side method this is also known as your tram line method the second method is the telescopic method and the third method is the american method so in this method first method the side method a temporary tram line is laid adjacent or in the side of the proposed rail track for carrying out the material now this method is suitable for doubling the rail track because laying of another track will be easier and also it will be commercial due to the advantages of whatever is the track existing beside it 
the existing track can be used for transportation of material for the construction of your second railway track when there is no existing track and a new track has to be laid by this method then a road parallel to the proposed railway track may be constructed for your transportation of materials for the required site normally this method is very slow not more than 1.6 kilometers per day of the railway track can be laid in this particular method and this can be adopted only if you have flat terrain if you have very undulated terrain then we cannot go for the side method next one is the telescopic method okay this method is extensively used in india so here what will happen is the materials are transported in the material trains from the material deposit to the work site by using the same track length which has been newly constructed so thus what will happen laying of the proposed railway track in advance to research the destination point just like moving the telescope outward to bring the far object into the focus that's the reason this method is called as telescopic method so this telescopic method is done by different gangs like the material gangs linking gangs and the packing gangs material gangs what they'll do they'll bring the material linking ga gangs what they'll do they'll link the or fix the rails and the sleepers and the packing gangs what they'll do is they will correct the levels and alignments okay so this is about your telescopic method the last method is the american method this is called so because it is first used in america so in this method what will happen a certain length of the track is assembled in the workshop itself then the same is carried out through special track laying machines and then put it into the place where it has to be set normally this is very cheap because here the labor requirement is very very less so this is not much exclusively used in india so these are the different methods of plate laying i hope this plate laying is clear now moving on to the next step is the laying of the ballast on the track now once the subgrade is done once the sleepers are rails everything is fixed then you have to go for putting your ballast inside okay immediately after plate laying we should not do the ballasting we have to leave it for 2 to 3 monsoons and then we have to do the ballasting normally ballasting is done with the help of the ballast trains if you observe from inside they are leaving the ballast here okay so that is about your laying of the ballast on the track next is the laying of switches and crossings normally what will happen we have to manufacture the switches and crossings in the workshop itself so that we attain high accuracy and then they are uh, lifted with the help of special devices and then they have to be assembled in the place where they have to be put okay and also the greasing and oiling of various part is done for proper functioning of the tongues as well as the switch rails so these are done in the last point okay last step of your track laying so this is all about the track construction hope this is clear to you thank you